Okay, are we good? Yep. All right, hello. So today we're looking at 7RB, you get it? Pull the 7RB leading to 7VA, okay? 7RB is the what we call the universal counter, the elbow push. You see the elbow push absolutely ever in manuscript. It's pro I think it's in all the sections, at least mentioned in text, if not in picture. And whenever there's arms high, the elbow push is a completely legit counter, right? You know, even on horseback. In grappling, in Abizar rather, it uh, comes from, or it's explained as a counter to the fifth play of grappling, 7RA, which is this shear where He's on my other thumb. That's right. Okay. So as soon as as soon as he comes in to do it, I'm going to push his elbow. And I'm going to step around his outside. Okay. If I'm super late, it won't work. If I'm super late, I'll just have to leave. Right. But if I'm if I'm early, I can get here. In which case, I can immediately pick him up and tip him. Okay. So what I'm doing there, this is oh, sorry, this is very standard with grappling throws from behind. And you see I had his arm there too, right? I pick him up with my legs and I tip, I tip him straight over, right? I tip him straight over. I don't have to throw him up or out down. I just pick him up and tip him, throw him straight down. And then obviously I'm right there to continue, right? Fiori says that in seven VA which is the counter to that, that if I do that quickly and strongly, he can't counter, right? The counter being, we'll look at this next time, but that, uh, the counter, the, the counter being this, right? Something like that. So, but if, if he does that, or if I do this play quickly and strongly, he can't counter. So he gives the yellow push, the meaning get behind, right? Even if he takes a set, right? Pick him up, tip him, and there I am. Okay? Obviously, if he resists, I can do, do other things. If I can't tip, tip him, if, I, if I'm too, uh, too weak, or he's too big, or whatever, we move on. That's wrestling. Okay? So last but not least, again, one more time. His elbow push, coming from the shear, as explained in the upper Zari section, right? It leads to a step behind. If I can take the arm, that's great. Okay? It can also lead to a throw. It's also important to note that this is one of the plays we should be actively, as theory students, actively looking to see in every other section. In every other section. We should be asking, where's the yellow push? Where's the yellow push? Where's the yellow push? Because chances are we'll be there. Right? And we see this. This is the seventh play. Sixth. Seven, whatever. You see very early in Fury, yeah? So that should tell us something, right? And um, that's it. Okay, thank you very much.